What is up guys, Mark here from Michael Alexander Photography and welcome back to the MBP YouTube channel. Now it's been a while since you've seen my face, but I am back and today I'm going to show you guys a really cool trick for color grading. Now the trick I'm going to be showing you guys today is called Blend If. Now, if you're unfamiliar with it, it allows you to have control over where the selected area is going to be affected by color. Now, I'm a big fan of selective color, probably as much as the next guy, but I find its parameters like the blacks, neutrals and whites to be a little bit broad and I find it to be able to spill over into areas that I'm not really fond of. So for demo purposes, we're going to add now some color with selective color and we're going to make it a little bit exaggerated so, you know, we can visually see it for the demo and I think that works. But as you guys can see, it looks kind of like it's bleeding into the midtones, which I'm not a big fan of. So what you're going to do is you're going to click here, double click, and you're going to open up layer styles. And this is where we get blend if blend if is down here and we're going to use the underlying layer. And as you guys can see, when you move the slider around, it's not really working now, is it? And it's now started to make this leaf look like a cutout, but we don't want that. So what you can do is you can use the alter option key and you can split these two apart. Now you've got the full control over the gradient of the affected area. And as you can see, the further I pull it, the softer it starts to get. And there we go. Now the affected area is not so much all over the show, but we can do the same with a colorful layer. Now, as you guys can see, this is affecting the whole image. We used a uh, soft light and I've turned on the opacity a little bit because otherwise it's very rough, but we're going to do the same thing. You just double click there on the far end of the layer and we're going to do the same, but now we're going to use the light side of the underlying layer. And as you can see, it's starting to remove it out of the brightest areas and the mid tones. And now we can control the gradient even over here by using the alter option key and spreading it further apart. But we still now want to affect the dark areas. So we're going to do the same alter option key and we're going to spread this out a little bit. And there we go. Now we've controlled where it is affecting the color grade. But what's cool about doing it with a colorful layer is now that because it's a colorful layer, I don't have to mix certain RGB tones or, you know, with the selective color layer, the blues, the yellows, the cyans, the reds, the magentas and greens. I can now just pick exactly which color I want and I can affect the photo in those areas. Now, I like that. Press OK. Here we go. And that is as simple as it is. This is such a useful tool for color grading. So I don't have much more to say about that. That is it for today's video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys did, click that subscribe button. If you have any questions, definitely leave it down in the comments below. We love hearing from you guys and we love answering your questions and making videos on stuff that you like. But that is it for me today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Cheers.